as y'all can see, y'all see me on y'all screen, so y'all know what that means. That means your girl Cinderella is back in town. Where have I been? Oh man, I've been in a lot of different places actually in my life. <laughs> but in case you're wondering, I'm actually not on my camera. I'm using my Android camera because I wanted to test it out. And if this actually works because, yo, Androids and Apples, yo, Androids was around before Apple, right? And if you're just going to do it, you might as well just go and do it. You know what I'm saying? Put, put up your video. So this is one, me getting back here, talking to y'all, catching up with y'all. Two, getting on here, showing you that it's possible to start all over again. I used to make my videos just like this in front of my window and just talk about what was on my mind, on my heart, right? And on my, you know, in my spirit. So in case you're wondering, this is the Samsung A15 5G camera. And so far it looked good to me. Like I see my hair is like, you know, it looks good to me. It looked just like how when I was using my, my iPhone, like guys, we don't have to go broke. And this is a perfect way to get into what I'm about to talk to talk to you about today. Now, I ain't trying to preach to you or nothing, but I'm just saying. <sighs> it's time to stop stopping. And now it's finally time to go. That's what God has been telling me, right? I took this time to really regroup, get my mind right. Think about what it is that I want, but also think about what it is that God said that he wanted for me. In the midst of trying to be who you want to be, there's always going to be a fight. Because sometimes you don't even realize that it's just God tugging you on your shirt like, hey, it's not always the enemy. It could just be God saying, uh-uh, don't do that, don't do that. And I'm like, wait, but I want to do this, Lord. I want to do, no, mm -mm, don't do that, don't do that. Becoming aware of God, or you can call it God's awareness. In this life, we have to be aware of God and what he wants. And not just what he wants, but also if we're treating God like he's just up there and he don't know anything that we're doing, that's not a real relationship. We got to treat God like the relationships that we have, right? We got to treat God like he's right here next to us. Like, he's your mama, your daddy, your friend that you always go to see, your, um, your peeps, you know what I'm saying? You just got to treat God like he's a real peep. Like, you, you protect him, you love him, you're honest with him, and you encourage him. Sometimes I really just be getting up and saying, God, how you feel today? No, for real. Like, I just be getting up and saying, no, God, how are you doing? Because I know you see your kids out here acting kind of crazy. You know, not kind of crazy, they be acting crazy awful going crazy and he just be like thank you for asking you know what i'm saying god awareness this is what we need in our life because a lot of things that we would do if god was standing right next to us we would not be doing it you know what i'm saying let's get deep if you don't touch that um if you don't touch that sex card that was on the table you know, and Satan was like, yeah, go ahead and touch that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead and get you some of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the masturbating, y'all, yeah, we got to stop that. Like, you know, y'all might not be doing full penetration, you know what I'm saying? We getting deep. But, yo, touching on yourself is still sinning, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, you're not with nobody else, but still, it's still the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Even when it comes to, oh, God, I'm just going to have this drink real quick. Like, it's just one. It's just one. Nah, that's not what God calling you to do. Because things lead into other things, right? You go to the gun range. Oh, I'm just going to shoot the gun up in here real quick. But then you take it out on the street, and next thing you know, you out here wilding out. Oh, no, I was in the gun range, and it just felt good in my hand, and now I'm shooting. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now you doing stuff you shouldn't be doing. But anyway, getting back. <sighs> I 
God has just really been working on me. It's like, yo, I, I keep saying the same thing every time I come back. And it feels like that every time. I know what God wants me to do. I'm really trying to do what he wants me to do. But it's like, even though he's giving me the formula, it's like, I'm looking at it, but I'm not doing anything. And I know some people out there feel me on this. It's like, is it because... I'm not wanting it more. Like, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, is it not the timing? But then it's like, there's always a correct timing for things. And it's like, if God is telling you to do it, then it must be the time right now. But I think I finally figured it out. In order for me to do anything, I got to be everything that he wants me to be. First, can't be doing no music, can't be teaching no dance class, can't be, can't be encouraging nobody, not even you, friend. I can't even encourage you if I haven't been poured into. The last time I did a video style kind of like this, when was this? This was like, what, when I first started this channel? Y'all know the very first one, if you go all the way back down my, um, my timeline, what was it? Um, accountability, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know now. I know with all my mind, body, heart, soul, and spirit now. I get it. In order for me to be the best mom, in order for me to be everything that my son needs, I got to be it for myself. I got to be in my word for real, for real. I got to live this, this daily walk. For real, give back, you know what I'm saying? It's not even to get back, it's now. It's time, it's April 1st. And it's crazy, cause like, I don't know if y'all believe this, but this is what I found out. Can you believe that April 1st is technically not April Fool's Day? No, it's actually our Lord Jesus Christ's birthday. That's what they said. Now, you can believe it or you, you might not believe it. But I remember watching Boondocks, right? And Lil Huey, Little Huey, that's my man. Yo, look. Huey. Hold up, go back. Huey, y'all see that? That's that's my boy right there. Huey. And number five, if y'all know. What's her name? Um, Cree Summers. She's the voice of that. He said, um, what he said? He said, Oh yeah, basically Christmas time is not when the Lord came. He actually came in the springtime. Because it would have been too cold to have baby Jesus if he's in the manger, right? And I'm like thinking to myself, yeah, that makes sense. And so if it was too cold to have him during that time, and then he was talking about how Christmas is actually a pagan holiday, which we all know, Saturnalia, all that stuff. But the timing would be off. And God just sat me back because Thursday, Thursday was the last supper. Friday was the day he had to go to his crucifixion, like crucifixion. Hold up. I think I said it right. He got crucified on Friday. Saturday, he was in that tomb. Sunday, he he rose, man. Like, that hits me every time because I believe it so much right now. Like, like everything in this world don't matter. Nobody matters right now but God. Sunday, when he rose, man. And then for today... If it is so, and then again, it makes sense because why would you call out of all days this day, April Fool's Day? You're not gonna call my you're not gonna call my Lord not one fool at all. Like you're not gonna say anything about my Lord. I'm like, why out of all days they gonna call it this day? How dare you? Like how dare I to even have taken part in something that I really didn't even know though. But still, I apologize to God. I said if this was your day the whole time, I'm so sorry. I remember making them April Fool's jokes, but nah, I'm not going to ever do that again. But regardless of what day it is, we just got to know that every single day is a blessing. Every single day is the Lord's day. Like, God has blessed us to wake up, to see a brand new day. It's raining outside, but I'm so happy and I have a smile on my face because I get to see this. A lot of people don't get to see this. I just thank God. 
I just thank God. I'm, I'm at a point where I'm just thanking God every minute of the day, every second. Everybody wants to boast about their favorite rappers, their favorite clothes, their favorite songs, their favorite artists. Oh, yeah, my girl SZA, yeah, is she doing her thing? She is doing her thing. But just because you boasting about her name and then y'all know what's going on with Diddy and stuff and, like, doing all that talk, like, this is basically gossiping you doing so much like we gossip all day long but the word of god says boast the name of the lord all day long right and no matter who you are even if you are those two people that i just mentioned are you doing enough for the lord because remember he's going to humble you and we all are seeing it we all are witnessing that what's going on right now is God is humbling everybody, whether you're in the church, whether you're not in the church, because guess what? We all learned during COVID time that church isn't the building. Church is the people. Church is your heart and how you serve them in your own home. Because a lot of us was at home going to church, right? Through the phones, through the Facebook lives and everything. We can't deny that there is one of God and we shall all hold on to that and that should unify us Muslims Christians um Catholics Jews Hindus that we should at least believe that there is a God you know what I'm saying now when it gets to the Buddha it gets to the to the what the Ra, whatever y'all serving whatever y'all serving over there when it gets to these stones and these crystals no no remember i remember i said a long time ago on my instagram what i say can a dress design itself a dress design itself no somebody had to come up with the blueprint for the dress and say okay this is how i want the dress to look this is how i want the dress you know the colors of it the fabric and then somebody actually had to put it together like the whole fabrication of that that's yo i'll be messing up these words i'm so sorry friend plus i ain't even eat yet bring it back but anyway the fabrication of the clothes right someone has to make these clothes someone has to actually put these clothes together they have to seam the seams together it's just like God. He had to be on the outside to create something that's on the inside or to just create something at all. Because I even said what? A painter, so a, a painting created itself? No, it needed an artist. An artist with a vision, a mindset that could see beyond what the canvas was, which is blank. Booyah! I really drew this too, so tell me if y'all like this drama. But, can y'all see it first? Can y'all really see her? Yeah, there she go. So, I need her to be on this canvas, right? First, I envisioned her, and I said, you know what? First, I envisioned it, right? And I said, you know what? I want to paint a tree, and this is the, a tree, a moon, and all this stuff. I want to do the sky. But then, I had to change her heart and say, you know what, I want to make a girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm holding her little phone up, you know what I'm saying? With her cute little puss and stuff, natural little chick. Yeah, so I'm going to make her. Now, the goal is to get it on here, right? How do you get it from first week? We took it from here. Then we put it here, right? Now it is here. We have to get it here. How are we going to get it there? How is this painting going to form itself? If I never take the time to do it because I'm the artist. I'm the creator. I thought of it, I envisioned it. I put it on paper, right? And now I'm trying to transfer it and put it on the canvas, right? It's gonna do it by itself. It's gonna do it by itself, come on. All this God made talk and all this like, oh, I did this, I'm self-made. No, you're not. And you know that, you're just saying that to fool people. Come on, don't be misled. And you're not going to be sitting here misleading people because we're not going to allow that. Because God's people is coming to destroy all the lies. 
Like you are fooling yourself. You're fooling yourself and you fooling others and we're not having that. And when it comes to these babies, because you know how I feel about these babies, we're not doing that. We're not doing that at all. Because the truth will always prevail. One thing you can't do, you can't get rid of the truth. The truth will always be there. The truth that God exists. How do we know this? Because someone had to be on the outside. I'm on the outside. I'm not inside this painting. Even just on this paper. I'm on the outside of the paper. I'm not inside the paper. You don't see the paper making lines by itself. Come on. You feel me in the back back there? I hope you feel me. You know what I'm saying? No one can take the place of God. You need to have God awareness and know that he is right here. Because a lot of the stuff that you you doing in the dark, just because, it, just because nighttime falls don't mean you got to do something wicked. No. And you know the devil be lurking. He lurks any time of the day. Okay. I feel like I've been talking a lot, but <laughs> basically, uh, yeah. No more stopping. It's time to actually go. Oh,